Hi everyone, my name is Nazanin Farahpur and today I'll be presenting our work on Reconfigurable Accelerator Compute Hierarchy, a case study using content-based image retrieval. This is a joint work between University of California, Los Angeles and Simon Fraser University. FPGAs in data centers are commonly used to accelerate a broad class of compute-intensive applications. But when it comes to communication-bound applications, their benefits are hindered by the efficiency of the data movement in the I.O. stack. A typical server workload consists of both compute and communication-bound applications. And in fact, it is common to have variations in the memory compute requirements even within different execution phases of a single application. So a commodity server requires more than just a conventional acceleration. They also require near data processing. So in this work, we present rich a reconfigurable accelerator compute hierarchy that combines on-chip, near-memory, and near-storage accelerators and offers a broad spectrum of acceleration options. We also propose a hardware-based global accelerator manager that coordinates these compute levels and reduces intertask memory access interference and handles the asynchronous task flow control. We also introduced a uniform library-based programming interface that minimizes the programming effort of using the compute hierarchy. We use content-based image retrieval as our target application because it consists of several kernels with different memory and compute requirements. The three main steps of the CBIR are feature extraction, which uses convolutional neural network, shortlist retrieval that uses matrix matrix multiplication, and we rank a step that uses KNN with partial sorting. If we look at the energy distribution for running CBIR pipeline on an on-chip accelerator, we could see that 79% of the remaining energy cost after on-chip acceleration is related to data movement. So a proper mapping could actually eliminate a significant portion of this data movement. After proper mapping of CBIR steps to the compute hierarchy, we saw that eliminating data movements help us reduce the energy consumption per query by half, and the asynchronous running of the application in three different levels help us achieve four and a half x throughput improvement, and for the query response time, which is important in real-time scenarios, saw more than two x improvement. So thank you so much for listening and I'm looking forward to hearing your questions. Thanks.